Excitement builds for the playoff rounds following a regular season replete with thrills and surprising upsets. Launched on March 10th, the league has delivered exhilarating football with 19 district teams vying for semi-final spots. Now, with over 80 matches having been completed, the countdown is on for the qualifiers, where eight teams from both tiers 1 and 2 will battle for the championship titles. The big reveal came on Wednesday evening when the league's CEO, Francis Daniel, officially unveiled the playoff fixtures in a highly anticipated announcement. Our first playoff um, date would be on Saturday, September 21, the 21st of um, September at the Denry Plain Field, where we'll have a doubleheader. In the first game, South Castries will come up against Ancillary. In the second game, at 8.30, Central Castries will come up against Grosile. Okay? These games are what we consider to be qualifier one. The winner of this game Tier 1, Tier 2, will go and take a seat straight into the finals. We'll wait. The loser has a second bite at the cherry. So the loser will wait. Sunday is when we're going to have what we consider to be our eliminators. Okay? So, again, at 6.30, we have Roso coming up against Viewfort South, followed by Denry versus Leclerc. On that evening, two teams will go home. That's why it's called an eliminator. You would be eliminated. Among the teams leading the charge in Tier 1 is Castries Central, who topped the table as the only undefeated squad boasting 24 points. Grosley and Denry follow closely in second and third places with 20 points each. Leclerc rounds out the top four with 16. Castry Central coach Ryan Daisy expressed pride in his team's performance, highlighting how the league's incentive-based system has sparked renewed enthusiasm for football, drawing larger crowds and boosting player commitment. Um, we've seen our attendance in the main uh, training to be exceptional. Uh, we have registered 30, 30 players and on a regular basis, we would have had 20, 22, 23 players at training. And that, that, that is a step in the right direction, um, not just for Central Cash. It's a step in the right direction for football locally. And even further, what it does is it puts players um, in the realm of what is expected at the national level. The more football, we have the more professionalism that we exercise, the, the better we become, the wider the pool um, for selection with regards to the, the national team selection. Meanwhile, in Tier 2, South Castries has emerged as a force to be reckoned with, topping the standings after a season-defining upset where Miku and Babono forfeited their matches. South Castries coach Tenley Joseph spoke about the wider impact that the semi-pro has had in revitalizing the South Castries Football League. Two years into the interim committee's tenure, it can now count as one of his deliverables, the achievement of the Castries South District League. We've seen a difference in um, training. We've seen a difference before um, South Castries used to have training. Six, seven players, eight players are training. Now, on average, we have about 23 players at training, regularly, right? Yes. Regularly. Um, and of course, we, we're not just, and we say to our players all the time, we, we're not just, it may sound like a cliche, we're not just a team, we're not just a team. We create that family environment with our young players and let them see how important they are to the team and they are representing a district, uh, a community that believes in them. To build even more momentum for the playoffs, the league has launched a series of promotional efforts including an island-wide roadshow which takes place on Saturday, September 14th. The event set to kick off from 10 a.m. will feature giveaways, performances from local artists and opportunities for fans to engage with their favorite district teams. The excitement will also spill into schools as the league hosts a three-day tour to inspire the next generation of football talent later this month. The St. Lucia Semi-Pro Football League, leveraging football to transform lives.